Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, October 20th, 2020, for the foreign exchange market. We will look at these five currencies pairs, the Great British Pound, US Dollar, US Dollar Yen, European Euro and the US Dollar, Aussie Dollar and US Dollar, and the US Dollar, Canadian Dollar. We'll start by looking at the, at the Great British Pound, but before we start, you're welcome to support our channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button. It really helps us um, build this channel and we can therefore also add more content. So at the moment, we are, have rallied quite significantly. We are up at the moment to 0.60% and that is a major rally mainly due to the fact that the, that the US dollar index has basically nearly collapsed today. So we can, that is a major boost to this, in this currency pair. We are still trading at the 50 moving average. We have been trading between the 100 moving average and the 50 moving average. And at the moment, we can see that the 50 moving average is significant uh, resistant at this point. Uh, most of the technical indicators have turned around, so it may well be that we will stay at this area for the time being. If we have further um, decrease in the US dollar index uh, or depreciation of the US dollar, then we will see this market, you know, this pair, go significantly higher. If we have an additional green candle above the 50 moving average um, in tomorrow's session, then we that is a very good sign that we are going to go higher with this pair. Next destination for this, we basically need to clear the top here. 1308 is our target, first of all. And after that, we are going to these highs of 1348. So around four or 500 pips up. To the downside, if we break down here, 50, 100 moving average will be um be be support and underneath that we will have the 300 moving average at also support um yes if you look at technical indicators macd is technically flat rsi is flat the cci is showing sign of a bullishness same goes for the stochastic and the bollinger band is also showing signs of bullishness if you look at us dollar yen we are still hugging the 20 exponential moving average. I think it's just a matter of time before we basically break down. We may go higher. We may go uh, and have another run at this at this uh, trend line here. Where did it go? There, that trend line there. So we may go up towards the trend line and then you know, go back down. We have been in this trend line now for several months. There is no sign that we are going to break out of this trend line. We need to go through all of these moving averages in order to do so. And that will basically be a sign that we have a trend reversal in this. I do favor the downside that will break down towards this lower trend line and, uh, and then just keep on trading in this um, channel. The technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is flat, RSI is showing signs of, of a bear bullishness, and thus, uh, the, can I say the same for the CCI, it is basically very bearish, and the stochastic is showing signs of, of, of bullishness, and same goes for the Bollinger Band, technically. We're running into resistance here. We technically can break down at any point. So if you look at euro, dollar, euro US dollar, then this market has increased significantly today. We are up at this point, 0.68%, uh, and uh, we are running into major resistance at the 50 uh, moving average. We need to uh, have a green candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to show sign that we are about to go higher. Uh, if we do, we need to clear the top of these candlesticks at 11.82. Then we have to clear these top, this top here at 11.90 before giving another shot at the highest here of 12.01. Um, don't believe that's going to happen, but who knows. If we break down from here, 100 moving average at 11.68 will be resist, it will be support. And after that, we'll go all the way to 11.47. Uh, 
Technical indicators are fairly mixed. Uh, the MACD is showing sign of life. It hasn't crossed the signal line yet. If we break above here, then of course it will do. The uh, RSI is showing sign of strength. Uh, the, so does the CCI. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line. And we are, yes, we are probably going towards um, these high of 1187 before technically turning around. I don't believe there's going to be major movement before the election. So if you look at a U Aussie US dollar, we did a rally uh, earlier today. Didn't get to the 100 moving average and broke down again. And at the moment, we are technically just trading sideways. There's not a lot of movement here. Um, if you look at the technical indicators, uh, we are still trending underneath the signal line. We at the RSI is uh, technically flat. The uh, CCI is showing signs of barrenness. The same goes for the stochastic. It is also uh, turning around now. It's showing sign of the bullishness. And uh, the Bollinger Band is technically flat at this point. We need a real signal that we are going to break the 50 moving average or break below the uh, 150 moving average in order to see where we are going with this market. Uh, trading at this, selling or buying is technically just a big gamble at this point. US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have started to break down as expected. We have formed a, a resistant line here, which we most likely will not break. There's just too much resistant above here before the, in order to mark this market to go technically to the upside. I do believe that will break towards this uh, trend line here, which will act as support. If we break uh, into this uh, channel, that give, make a sign that we most likely will enter the same channel again. Um, we can see that the technical indicators are all extremely bearish at this point. Both the MACD, the RSI, uh, the CCI, and the Stochastic and Bollinger Band, every, every indicator is showing sign that we are going to lower levels, as expected. First of all, the first resistance we will run into are these lows at uh, 13 on 9. After that, we are going all the way down to this trend line here. Uh, break uh, upwards. We just have all of this uh, resistance that is not going to happen anytime soon. So, I hope you find this in, uh, video helpful. You are welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you and uh, good luck.